tissue, and a glass which has been submerged in water. This is Harrison O'Kane living inside for three days, trapped in an oxygen bulb. What we find out is this possible. The tissue is surviving there and under this water in the bowel experiment. A 29-year-old Nigerian man survived for two days trapped underwater when the tugboat he was aboard capsized on May 26. Harrison Okene was in one of the boat's bathrooms when the boat capsized and began flooding. Officials later said the tugboat had overturned and sunk to a depth of 30 meters. Okene ended up trapped in another bathroom adjoining an officer's cabin with a pocket of air measuring four feet high. He was trapped for around 48 hours before he heard banging. He then made noise to alert rescuers to his position before he saw divers approach. Right. Uh, my name is uh, uh, Revolutionary Martin Sinyanga da William, or a scientist, physicist. Now I'm going to do an experiment here to show out how uh, Harrison O'Kane survived in the sea for, for three days underwater with that uh, shipwreck uh, when, uh, when they had an accident. And he is the only survivor. I want to show it experimentally because I've been arguing and find out is this possible. So I've got two tissues here. And then uh, oh, I'm going to imagine to show you how a, a tissue can, when it's wet, what happens to it. This is a wet tissue, so I put it there. And I've got here a dry glass inside. And this dry glass, I'm going to take this other dry tissue and I'm going to put it inside this dry glass. Find out. Uh, I'm going to put this dry glass immediately, like a ship which is uh, submerging in water. And, uh, I will not count, but it's up to you to count. Let me just do it. There we are. We have got a tissue, and a glass which has been submerged in water. This is Harrison O'Kane living inside for three days, trapped in an oxygen bulb. What we find out is this is possible. The tissue is surviving there and under this water in the bowel experimentally. Let me, let me take it out now and find out what is happening. I take out, and there, the tissue still remains dry. Let me take out the tissue then. There. The tissue still remains dry. And I, I, I can, I can, <laughs> it still remains dry. This is how Harrison O'Kane survived underwater for three days. So there was a bubble which was trapped in it. The whole glass never got dry. Water never went inside. How how did this happen? This is a, a, a scientific phenomenon which needs to be described in, in in fact. Thank you very much. Thank you. Again, you can see I'm going to put more more of the more of the tissues. Well, someone was saying that uh, maybe I put little tissue and then it didn't it didn't get to the upper. I get some argument there. I'm going to put more of the tissue there and I'm going to do the same thing again here yeah. and I added more water inside that this thing can be purely made now no one will argue with me here okay now again I take out this tissue and then there it is again look, look the tissue is purely dry 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 See you again on another video. Watch what happens. He's alive. He's alive. A hand appears reaching out to him. Keep him there. Keep him there. All right. Just, um, just reassure him. Pat him on the shoulder. The face behind the hand is revealed. A survivor. The ship's cook, 29-year-old Harrison O'Keen. Yeah. When the boat flipped and settled at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, O'Keen found himself in a four-foot air pocket where he remained for the next three days, surviving only on Coca-Cola. All right, let's go. O'Keen was eventually fitted with a scuba mask and brought to the surface. Of the 12-man crew, he was the only survivor. 
O'Keen has a photograph to treasure with the team that saved him.